Should I buy a home from a wholesaler? That's a question I get asked a lot. Now, just to give you some definitions, a wholesaler is someone that goes out and finds an off-market property, puts that property under contract, and then will sell it to you as a cash investor. Now, you might say to yourself, what well, I'm paying a premium for that property, and you are. The wholesaler is gonna make as much money as they possibly can. Look, Amber and I, in our flipping business, we're wholesalers, right? We, we did 101 deals last year in 2021. 2021, we did 101 deals. We're on track to do closer to 150 deals this year. But in 2021, out of those deals, about 80 of those we wholesaled off to other investors. So we are wholesalers and we also buy from wholesalers. When would you buy from a wholesaler? If the math works. It doesn't matter if somebody else is making money if the math works for you. Now some people say, yeah, but if I bought it, I could get it $20,000 $20, cheaper. But you didn't buy it. That's the secret. The wholesaler spent the money, the time, the investment to have a machine, a marketing machine, they knocked on doors, whatever they did, and they found the property. They get paid to find the property. If you wanna make more money, you've gotta go out and find the property before the wholesaler does. It's as simple as that. You know, we spend over $50,000 a month on marketing to find off-market deals for our company. And then we wholesale off a chunk of those and we keep the renovations and the rentals that we keep for ourselves but we wholesale those off for a cash flow perspective. Somebody else wants to do them. Now, I would tell you this, if you see, we've had people in the past say, we're not gonna buy from you because you're making a profit. I don't care, somebody else will. It doesn't matter to a wholesaler if you say, well, I'm not gonna make money because you're making money. Then what's that saying? You're cutting off your nose to spite your face, right? You are, you are losing out on a deal and somebody else will come along and take that deal. If the math works, so I encourage you, if you follow us at all and you're one of our students or you want to be, go, you can go online and find our Home Flipping Evaluator. We give, that, we give that away for free for a lot of people. And the Home Flipping Evaluator will let you know how much you can pay for a piece of property. It gives you what's called your Mayo, your Maximum Allowable Offer. And in the Mayo or the Maximum Allowable Offer, you can then determine what's the most I can pay for a house. What's the most I can pay for a house to be profitable with that house? and not, be, not put myself in a risky situation. If you look at a wholesaler's numbers and they are within those numbers, then I say buy the house. Now, can you negotiate with a wholesaler? Absolutely, unless the wholesaler has multiple offers. Then there's no negotiating at all, right? The wholesaler's dream is to have multiple offers in their property and drive the price up, which a lot of people do. However, the market is changing from a buyer's market uh, from a seller's market to a buyer's market. So I think you'll see a lot more negotiating going on with wholesalers. You know, if we only have one offer on the table, we're gonna negotiate a lot more on that offer than if we have five offers on the table. Because usually out of five offers, somebody's gonna offer a lot more for that property and we're gonna take that as a wholesaler. So build good relationships with wholesalers and you'll find it's another great avenue to find properties. The very simple, basic thing to remember is, if the math doesn't work, don't buy the deal. And if it does, buy it.